ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, hi, welcome. I do upload two new videos every week, every Wednesday and Friday morning, so I hope you will hit that subscribe button so you get the notifications and you don't miss out on any new videos. Today I'm so excited to share with you some easy hairstyles that are really fun, really interesting, really different, and I think they're very simple to do. I was contacted recently by Living Proof. They wanted to team up with me on this project. I couldn't have been more excited. I am a huge fan of Living Proof. I've been using their products for over a year since my Texas hairstylist recommended it to me. And what I love about their products is that they have a multi-purpose product or a multi-use or multi function product and I think that's really important for us busy ladies you know we're juggling a thousand things and we don't have time to like monkey around with multiple products so it's good when it's more of an all-in-one versus having to grab a bunch of different things and I think their products are really awesome in the sense that they work they really work so I'm gonna show you three hairstyles using Living Proof products, styling products, and I'll show you which ones I'm using as I go. And this video is sponsored, so I'm, again, very proud and excited to share this with you all. So the first step is to make sure I use some product in my hair so that styling my hair is a little bit easier. I do have fine hair, which can be difficult to style if I don't put some sort of product in it. So the first one I want to add to my hair is the Prime Style Extender. And what this product does is actually extend the life of your blowout or your curls, basically extend the life of your hair, make it look less greasy longer. And it's really the busy woman's perfect hair product. And then I'm also going to use the TBD Multitasking Styler. And you can use it in different ways. Use it to defrizz the ends if you want to, just put a tiny bit, like a um, pea size amount on your ends. So if you use it in your damp hair, then that's more of a styling product. You can use it to make your hair look a little bit more PC if you use it on your dry hair. And you can just put a little bit in on the ends and it will actually just make it look a little PC or a little more texturized. I'm going to use it as a styling cream since I'm about to style my hair. So a little bit goes a long way. Put that in, it smells so good. Okay, now that I've brushed out my hair and the products in my hair, I'm going to blow dry my hair and use a round brush. Now my hair is dry, so I'm gonna start with hairstyle number one, which is a faux bob. This one is really fun. I think it's a great way to experiment if you're thinking about a bob or a lob, but you're not really sure. Um, or if you have long hair or longer hair like me, and you just wanna do something a little bit different, I think it has a more glam retro feel to it. I think it can be really sexy and really modern and sophisticated. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing you do for the faux bob is you section off most of the top of your hair. So you're only leaving like a little bit at the bottom. Don't worry so much about how straight the line is. Just grab it with your hands. To keep this top part off the bottom part, I'm just gonna put it in a hair tie. Okay, now I'm gonna take this bottom part and I'm going to put it in a little bun. Just keep twisting it and twisting it. And I try to keep it real flat when I'm twisting. Then I'm gonna put the hair tie around the tiny bun. Now here's where you could use a bobby pin if you wanted to. This bun kind of sticks out a little bit. So you could take a bobby pin and make sure that bun stays flat to the head, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna take out the top part of my hair and you can decide if you wanna part your hair in the middle or you wanna part it on the side, whatever feels nice for you. I'm gonna part mine in the middle. Now I'm just gonna take some bobby pins, take kind of a section of this hair and just fold it under and then I'm pinning it to the section at the bottom with the bun. Okay, so there's one. And then I'm gonna take another big section here. So that's just with two bobby pins. You really don't need more than that, but you could 
add a couple more if you felt more comfortable. And then you can also kind of take some of these pieces out just tiny pieces if you want it to be a little piecier. And you could curl the front if you wanted to. And then of course you can put a little hairspray just so it holds. But again, I think with this look, like the messier and the piecier, almost the better. Okay, for this next look, we're gonna do some serious teasing. Okay, we take the top section of our hair, we comb it out, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna tease, 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 tease. I'm using this big old hairbrush, but you could use a comb or a pick or whatever you want. I think a comb would work probably a little better than the hairbrush, but I always just use a brush because it's what I have handy and it's easy enough. I'm then going to take each side and tease the sides. All right, and I think this is perfect. Ready to go. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna take this puppy and we're gonna settle her down a little bit. Just kind of brush it out a little bit, smooth it. Just taking that top layer, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist it into a bun. I wrap my ponytail around the bun. Okay, once you have that first little bun, you're just gonna check the top to make sure it's nice and smooth. And what I can do is add a little more of the TBD multitasking styler. I'm gonna take the rest of the hair comb it out, and I'm gonna make another little bun at the bottom. So I'm creating basically two knots. This is what I mean by edgy elegant. I think it's edgy, I think knots are edgy, but the top part makes it look very regal and elegant. Okay, so let me show you from the side, from the front, from the side, for hairstyle number three, you're going to need some more hair ties. So I would say about four or five hair ties should do it. So since my crown is already teased, I don't really need to tease it. But if you were starting from scratch, I would go ahead and grab that top section again and tease it, tease it, tease it. So you get a little bit of a poof at the top because I think that little volume at the top looks so awesome. It just, it just makes such a difference than that really slicked back hair. I like the little poof at the top. So also makes you look a little taller <laughs> if you're a shorty like me. Okay, so now I'm just going to pull it all the way back, but I'm gonna be really careful to smooth it all out. So you see how my top is all wonky? I just gotta fix that a little bit. And now I'm going to put my hair tie in. See, it did, it really did flatten the poof a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is go back and just pull out a little bit of that so I can regain the height. So I'm gonna go back and use a little bit of this on the top just to get rid of those flyaways, the TBD multitasking styler. pretty good poof. I'm pretty happy with that. It's not egregiously high, but it's high enough to create a little volume. And I think the poof, especially right at the top in the middle, also creates a little bit of edge to the look. So this is actually a hairstyle I used to do in middle school, I think. <laughs> so we're going way back. So with my ponytail, taking sections of about two inches, I'm just gonna put a hair tie in. And then I'm gonna put another hair tie in. How I finish off this look is I'm going to take each piece and just pull out hair like this. Take this and pull out hair. Take this and pull out hair. So it creates these little cool shapes. I think 
think those are all attainable hairstyles. I think they're all unique hairstyles. I think they're all very modern. I think they're all very sexy and edgy and fun. They're all really easy to do and they're all really fast to do, which is really important to me because again, I'm busy. I don't have a lot of extra time. You guys are busy. You don't have a lot of extra time. So if we're gonna do something, even if it's for a special occasion, it has to be a hairstyle that is quick. <laughs> and simple. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions at all, just comment below. I'll put links to all the Living Proof products below. Thank you again to Living Proof for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, give a thumbs up to the video. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.